least I'm used to it. What's going on guys? It's Brando here with yet another Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Zombies video. So yesterday, Lee Ross was playing with the Call of Duty Endowment and he was talking about uh, different stuff in the video game. The Call of Duty Endowment is where you raise money for uh, veterans for that helped them in their lives. So yeah, anyways. Lee Ross was on there after the multiplayers were on there Welcome talking the and he was in there dropping uh, hints about different zombie things and he uh, came across one of the uh, comments while it was being a donation, it was by uh, Lagan. Shout out to Lagan YouTuber, he's a pretty good guy but anyways he mentioned something about the calling card so I want to play you guys the clip and see what you think it means. Alright so we got a uh, donation from Lagan 24 x they said, hoping for a new perk candy machine each DLC. Lee, smiley face. Oh, is that all? Just, a, just, mm. that's it. That's all we got to do. One perk candy machine. <laughs> mm, you guys are making it too easy on us. Shoot for the sky, guys. Shoot for the sky. So, so in that clip, Lee Ross talks about how uh, you shouldn't just expect maybe one extra perk machine in the next DLC, but expect more than more than just one. Just expect maybe two. Three, maybe more with all the uh, different perk candies that they've been doing the, the ideas are endless they could be anything anything you could think of would be awesome I know Lee Ross has been thinking about different uh, fate and fortune cards he's been talking about that on Twitter so maybe he'll incorporate that in the different perks so we'll see what happens possibilities are endless I can't wait to see what happens so yeah that'd be awesome as the video clip goes on, Lee Ross keeps talking about uh, more and more zombies. Uh, he keeps getting uh, questions from uh, whoever donates or whoever's uh, chatting in the comments, just talking about different things in the game. Some some answers, uh, some answers he gives to the questions that are asked, and uh, some of them he doesn't. But one of the questions that is asked about Mesostophilus, he's in the uh, Pack a Bunch room. He's mentioned in there. You can uh, look in the Pack a Bunch re room and read about that. But uh, yeah, he talks about that. There's a video clip that I'll show you, and I'll see what you think afterwards. All right, we got a question from B-Bat. Um, any hint towards the secrets within the Pack-A-Punch room? Ooh, any hints about the secrets within the Pack-A-Punch room? Well, there are some characters in the Pack-A-Punch room. Uh, if you pay kind of close attention to those characters, they're in a kind of a pattern. They might look like words. See if you can decipher them. I will say that is probably the biggest hint we have going on right now about what is going on in this whole universe of zombies in Spaceland. Nice. So pay attention to what's on that Pack-a-Punch room's floor once you are able to decipher it. So like Lee Ross said, there is a uh, pattern to uh, what's going on in Pack-a-Punch room. There's different characters on there and they're like practically saying words so we need to we need to try to decipher what's going on in there and uh see if we can't figure out what's going on there there's definitely going to be many streams with all the big youtubers including myself we'll be trying to put together the cipher see if it can't tell us what uh any future dlc that's coming out or anything else that we need to be looking for in the map all right got another donation from bbet hey lee speaking about the ritual circle what's your thoughts on mephistopheles Oh, great job. Whose comment was that? Uh, B-Bat again. B-Bat. Great job figuring that out. Uh, read up on the lore of Mephistopheles. Stopless, oops. Read up on the lore of that, of that particular character. There's a reason Mephistopheles' name is in that circle. So like I was talking about before, Mes Mephistopheles, uh, you have to look him up, but I'm pretty sure he's pretty much like the devil. I think that's why Will or Wire are down there in the bottom where your fate and fortune cards look like the uh, the devil. So we have to look him up. We definitely need to uh, see what, what's going on with him, see if we can't find hints in the game, see what uh, Mephistopheles has connected to the rest of the game. So that's it's pretty cool that Lee Ross is actually on there talking to fans and actually... Uh, telling us what's going on in the game. He's definitely trying to start us to get new uh, Easter eggs, figure new Easter eggs out, which is perfect right in time before the next DLC comes out. So it'll definitely kill some time on uh, what we can do from here on out. So in uh, a couple streams back, I think uh, Lee Ross was on a uh, live stream with uh, Mashables, which is a reporting website. They talk about video games and stuff like that. And he uh, dropped a hint about going on a roller coaster uh, wearing glasses. He also talks about it in this stream, but he actually does go on a roller coaster, but he doesn't have his uh, glasses on. So 
it leaves us to wonder what could have been in this stream, what he could have actually talked about in there, but he definitely shows us what to look at while being on a roller coaster, and I'll show you that clip now and see what you guys think. Please ride roller coaster. Roller coaster? Yeah, I want to see the roller coaster. I bet somebody wants me to ride the roller coaster with the sunglasses on. All right. Did you guys ever pay close attention to those eyes? They look pretty oh, familiar. those guys? Pay close attention to the eyes on those guys. And notice you have unlimited ammo, so you can let the gun fly in here. So with that clip, Lee Ross has definitely dropped a big Easter egg hint. He tells us about the looking at the Yeti eyes. He also mentions that we do have unlimited ammo in the gun that we're using on the roller coaster, which is huge. Uh, it's unlimited ammo, so it might it definitely has something to do with I think shooting the eyes because he was talking about uh, unlimited ammo. Um, I don't know. We need to we need to try to go on the roller coaster, see if we can't shoot all the Yeti's eyes, see what. What doesn't, uh, what does and doesn't happen? Uh, that's a huge Easter egg hint. I can't believe Lee Ross mentioned that. But hey, you know what? Lee Ross is pretty cool. He's really connected to the uh, zombie community, and he really wants to help us figure out his game. I know he he definitely loves seeing us struggle sometimes. He also loves us uh, actually finding out the Easter eggs on our own. So he definitely loves he definitely loves his game. Alright guys, so far that's all I have for you now. If I can find anything else on Reddit, since Lee Ross is a big fan of posting on Reddit and being a troll on there, I'll let you guys know. These are huge hints that we need to go out and uh, try to figure out ourselves. Uh, see if we can't find another Easter egg that needs to be solved. So, yeah. Alright guys, if you guys like the video, please give it a like and always subscribe to me if you're a new new guy. Uh, tell your friends, tell them about it, let them share it, get the news around about a new possible Easter egg. Alright guys, until the next video, I'll see you later.